In this video today, we're going to learn how to make a very simple video slideshow. And we're starting right now. Hey, Dave Curley with the Church Media Guys. And if this is your first time watching and you want to learn how to use and exploit media and technology so that you can take the gospel to the world, start now by clicking that subscribe button and ringing that bell so that you don't miss a thing. The other day I got a call from a local funeral home and they said, hey, we're helping this lady out with a funeral. She needs a photo slideshow to show at the funeral and the funeral's on Sunday. Of course, I'll be happy to do it. She had not thought about putting this together. The, the typical story, no one expects it and now we gotta rush and do all this sort of stuff. She had boxes of photographs. You've gotta get these things scanned in and you've gotta give them to me in order because I don't know him from Adam, so you've got to organize these. And this is point number one in doing these slideshows. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you're working with the person or people that are providing these things to have them in some kind of an order. Now, in her case, she needed to scan, okay? So, scanning kind of gives us the ability to do everything intentionally and on purpose, which is a good thing. Let's have some piles, okay? Let's have, you know, birth to high school, and then let's have high school and college, and then let's have young adulthood. Start stacking them in order. And point number two is when you are helping to organize or you're organizing these things, when you're doing the scanning, regardless of what you call the photograph, you want to give it a number. The way things can be sorted by file name, numbers are going to come before letter. I mean, this, you know this. I mean, this is, I'm, I'm not, it's not rocket science here, right? We copied all that stuff onto a flash drive and then I came home and set to work. Now, what I used to do this was iMovie. I'm on a Mac. iMovie comes installed on your Mac. It's kind of standard fare when you're dealing with the Mac world, okay? Now, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do this regardless of the platform you're on because there's a web service that I've used and that I love. So you can click the card up there and go straight to that video if you want to. Otherwise, just watch the video that's coming after this one. So, jumped on the iMac and if you want, I can show you how we can quickly get all these things put in and put together and quickly turn out a really nice photo montage. Let's go. Okay, so we got the files copied over into the Memorial file Photos folder here. We've got them all organized. Everything's nice. We've got several different categories here. And, you know, here we go. Let's take a look at this. Birth. Okay, cute, cute, cute. These are all great. This would be a good time for you if you needed to go in and clean something up. You could always do that with Photoshop. Uh, just go in there and remove some scratches or something like that. Uh, we got a duplicate here, so let's get rid of this duplicate. Move it to trash. And there we go. Childhood. Yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. We got all these great photos here. And then some digital ones, which are in the later years. And great. We're all set. We've also got our music. They got a couple of songs in here they want to use. Uh, they want to start off with Soul Man and then do this Alan Jackson one, and then if we have time, Amazing Grace. That would be cool. Okay, so let's jump over to iMovie, and we're going to create a new project. Choose Movie, and we're going to import some footage. Easy way to import footage is to just drag it in. So select this first little batch here, and we're just going to drag it in, and there it is. Uh, if it comes in sorted the wrong way and you need to sort it, you know, if it was reverse or mixed up or something, you could just go to view and choose sort clips by and choose how you want it. So, you know, we could do date, you know, or we could do name or what have you. Where'd it go? There it is. And ascending, descending, what have you. Okay, so now I've got it in the right order because we numbered everything. And now it's time to get them into the project. So let's take the first one, drag it down there. Here's our little booger. Okay, now let's uh, let's say we, we need to do like a little title. Let's just get that done here real quick, okay? So let's just add a title. Um, here, a reveal. This will be nice. We'll drop that in right here. In fact, we'll let it go from one to the other photo, which will be good. And let's see. We'll call it our Brad, since that was his name. And let's see how this looks. Cute. Okay, and then we want it to go to the next photo, so we'll just drag that in there, and then that's going to, there we go. Watch this. All right, now, you know what? We need to do a transition between that, don't we? Because that's just kind of cut. So let's just select these two, 
and go to edit and choose add cross dissolve. That's kind of the default. So a cross dissolve, it's it's real simple. It's not flashy. It's classy. You can never go wrong using a cross dissolve. I'm glad it's the base one that they have in here. So just do add cross dissolve and you're done. Very easy. Now you'll notice that these are moving, right? Uh, if you select one and go up here to the top where the little crop button is, you can click that and you see it's using the Ken Burns effect. Okay. Now if you wanted to reverse it, you could just swap the in and out point and you'll see now it's zooming out. Uh, we can swap it again and it'll zoom in. See? Look at that. Now the Ken Burns effect, if you you know, yes, Ken Burns, the documentary guy, the you know, Civil War and all that stuff, you know, history of baseball. Um, if you want, you can actually adjust these. So you can choose where that end one is going to be and then select, uh, where is it? There it is. Select the start part. Say we make it a little larger. Uh, let's make it larger and more subtle. That would be such a fast zoom in. Okay, right there. Now, now let's see how it looks. See, that's a little smoother. Cool. All right. Now we got to get all the rest of these in here. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out some from our timeline. And we're going to select the first one. We're going to select the last one by holding the shift key down and clicking. And we got them all in between here. And I'm just going to drag them in. Boom. Now you can see they're all set for four seconds, which is fine. Um, I think we can work with that. I don't think we need to make any changes to that. That should, once we get them all in here, should probably work good for the two songs. So, um, look, this is weird. See, it's by default, it's going in and making them all Ken Burns effect. And, but, I mean, you can see that it's, you know, it's really tightened up on that face. And that was kind of a low res scan. I mean, how do we fix that? Let's just turn off the Ken Burns effect. How about that? See? Go straight to that one. That one's good. It's going to move to this one. We could leave it like that if we want. How about we make a slight change to it? Let's say we make our start a little larger, make our end even bigger, so it actually reveals a little bit more of the photo, of everybody in the photo. How's that look? Let's see. There we go. That's cool. And it goes to this one. See, this one's cool. It, it's a, he's got pretty eyes there, doesn't he? So that's actually a cool one. We could tweak it if we need. You're basically going to go through and do this for all the photos. Now, thankfully, a lot of them it does for you without any real issue. Yeah, that's a good looking shot right there. Now, you do get into ones where um, this is a, a portrait photo, and the you know, it makes a stupid decision. I mean, just kind of neat foreheads. That's what we want. So when it does that, just go turn it off. You know, I mean, she's way up here. They're way down here. Let's don't even try the Ken Burns effects. Just turn it off. Let's go to this one. What do we got here? Him in the kitchen. Okay, let's make our end point just a little bit larger. And so we'll go from a tight shot to revealing his birthday cake with him. How about that? There we go. And then we bump to the next one. He and his dad. And then we go to the kids. Okay, this one. This is a great shot of the three of them. So let's just make a little editorial change here. Choose that one. There we go. Now, let's see. There we go. Now let's see how this looks. There we are. That's a good one. Then we go to the one by the car. Okay. Let's make our start out here just a little bit more, and we'll kind of zoom into it. All right, cool. So you get the idea. You're basically going to go through and make these editorial changes to all these as you see fit. Look, kids are getting cut off here at the bottom. Let's just tweak this one. You're going to go through and do this with all of them. And the cool thing is, is that it happens really quick. It's it's not like it's a not like it's a big major undertaking here. You got 100 photos. You can do this in about 10 minutes. Okay, so it's not that big a deal. Now, we need to go ahead and put the next batch in. So I'm going to go back to Finder, and we're going to grab Early Adulthood. We'll grab these, drag them in. Okay. And let's see, that one, that one. 
See, this one needs to be fixed, so we'll just turn it off. This one, let's see. There we go. Oh, it's going to end up being with them in the bottom of the frame. We don't want that. Let's just tighten up a little bit. How about that? There you go. And then there he is graduating. That's cool. We can't really tell he's graduating, so let's just make our end point or our start point like that, our end point out even further. And now it's obvious that he's, he's the consummate graduate there. Look at that. It's a good shot. Here he is with the family. Okay, that shot is a little wonky. So let's make the start just a little bigger. You're going to go through and do this with all these. I don't want to get too terribly bogged down in this. Once you once you understand the idea that we have here, you just need to go through and fix it, okay? So there they are. There he is. Look at that. Look at those old cars. That's awesome. And then here he is with the family. That one we need to fix because we got a little one down there. Now, let's say we wanted all of these to be fixed. The cool thing is you can just select all of these and then hit the little crop and go to turn it off. And now all of these will just be straight shots, right? And then we can come back in with the next batch and go back to the Ken Burns effect if we want to. So let's go ahead and get the rest of these in. And then there's our last shot let's say we want that to be our last shot fantastic let's get our audio in here we need to pick our songs so let's start off they wanted to start off with soul man okay so let's get down here and we will start off with soul man we will drop it into the audio track let's see how this goes let's see i'm going to move that just a hair there we go Awesome. Okay, let's make a little tweak on this one. I actually like that it, it, it actually like cuts, does a jump cut to this one instead of doing a fade. Awesome. These are great. Okay. So now we're going to come down to the end of our song right about here, and it's time for us to... Oop, that one looks weird. Let's fix that. And we'll just turn it off. Boom. Okay. So now we need to transition to our second song. So let's go get that Alan Jackson song, and we're going to bring it in. Just drop a little cross dissolve in here. Let's see how this works. Ah, see, our, our audio here, we have a little problem. Our audio is, like, really low. So let's go to the audio button here, and we'll just hit auto, and it'll bring it up. You know, it's still not up. I mean, look at that. That's that's really up there. So let's try just bringing up the levels a little bit more. Let it get into the yellow, not get into the red. I think that'll work. Okay, and this song starts off slow. Where's he going to start singing? Boom, there you go. He starts to sing right there. All right, so let's just take this one, and we're going to trim this down. And I'm going to move it up here into that. Now, look at that. Now we're going to slide that just a hair right there, and now we'll let it, actually, as Soul Man is fading out, then it this will start up. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit for a little bit more lead. Let's see how this goes. Memory. There you go. That's a great transition right there. And we go through the whole song, and we come down here to the end, and look at that. That's actually darn good. <laughs> we got our timing just right. If we needed to, we could trim these a little bit, you know, make them some three seconds, two seconds, stretch one out. You know, this one, let's go ahead and stretch this one out a little bit. Set that right there. I'm just doing a little tweak in here with uh, with the 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 the, the song. Um, this one he's really not in that good. We're gonna pull that out, and we're just gonna fade this out right here as we come to our final shot. Let's see. We'll leave that one still. This one we'll leave still. 
And then right here. Okay. Now let's get this. In the steel All right. Now let's select all of these here. I'm going to shrink this down some more. And we're going to select all of our audio, or excuse me, all of our video tracks there. And except this one right here. And I'm going to go to edit and do add cross dissolve. And now we have cross dissolves, except, hang on, let's get rid of that one. There we go. And let's see how this goes. <laughs> Back to the phase. There we go. And that works. Come down to the end. And we fade out to our final. In the stillness. And we're going to take this. We're going to make that be our final one. And then it fades to black. And that's all said and done. That's it. You can see it's really easy to do this. Real easy. Now we just need to share it out. So file share and then choose what you want to do uh you, you want to get an mp4 file especially if you're going to be using this at a church so um i would just do prepare for facebook and we'll make sure that it's a nice uh hd video here and we'll hit next it's going to ask us where we want to save it we will put it in our exports folder our brad memorial and hit save, and hit next, and it goes off and does its thing. And there you go, once you get the video out, if it's a if it's an MOV file, then you may want to compress it to an MP4, or you may want to use one of the other presets they have in there, like to Vimeo, or to YouTube, or to Facebook. You know, do that if you want, that's fine. You'll get an MP4 file, you can then put it on your stick and take it up to the church and play it through the system. Really easy. That's all you got to do, guys. Now, if you don't have iMovie, there's other apps that are out there and stuff. If you want to see how to do this, regardless of the platform that you're on, I want to show you about how to do it using a service that I use called Animoto. So click this video right here and you can watch how we do it in Animoto.